Hello, my name is Miss Stair and I am the music teacher at Concord International School. So proud of my school, Concord Pumas. Today I have a music lesson for you today uh, for students in third grade through fifth grade and really just anyone who wants to make some music doing ostinati and body percussion. You may have noticed that I am filming from my house today. I've got lots of um, wonderful musical instruments around me to make lots of noise and I also have My adorable cat Kea, who has not been very happy about all of the noises that I've been making at home. But she's very cute and she's been very understanding of my musical, loud, creative self. I always like to start with a greeting song because I think it's important to ground ourselves in why we're here and what we're doing. So I'll sing the song for you one time and then I want you to go ahead and learn it with me but I'm gonna stand up this time because it requires me to stand. At Concord, we do it in English and in Spanish, so I'll probably do both for you, but I'll start out in English. Here we go, my turn first. We come together to sing. We come together to dance. We come together to create and play. Celebrate the day and spirit and mind and hands. And then you can take a seat. You may have noticed I was using my body as a percussion instrument. Percussion means that we are hitting something, shaking it or scraping it to make noise. Think for just a moment. Are we hitting, shaking or scraping our body to make noise? If you said hitting, you are correct. Not too hard, not too hard, don't hurt yourself. But we are going to hit our bodies in different parts to make some body percussion. So I want you to go ahead and echo, echo after me really quickly so I can teach you that body percussion part. Here we go, I'm gonna go clap, clap, and then I want you to repeat clap, clap. I'll do it both ways because I can't see you right now, so I want you to know exactly where to plug in. Let's try it. Clap, 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 chest, 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 pat, 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 stomp, 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 stomp. Now you can't see my feet, but you know how to stomp, I'm sure. Now I'm actually going kind of fast. I do know this, but let's see how much of it you can do singing and putting in the body percussion. Now you'll notice we don't do the clap, clap, chest, chest, pat, pat, stomp, stomp every single time, but I'll try and give you a big face like this to, to give you the clue, hey, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So look at me and I'll try to show you what it is. And don't worry, we'll try it twice. Here we go. Singing and body percussion. One, two, three. We come together to sing. We come together to dance. We come together to create and play. Celebrate the day in spirit and mind and hands. Nicely done. Thank you for grounding yourselves in what we're doing here today, being creative and making music together. Welcome back. And for this next activity, we are going to be doing more body percussion. So prepare yourselves. Don't worry, you don't have to stand up for this next one so you can take a bit of a rest sitting, but we are still gonna make some rhythms. Ostinato. What is an ostinato, you might ask? An ostinato is a short, repeated pattern. A short, repeated pattern that we're gonna do a couple of different times. We're using low and high, and I want you to watch my ostinato two times and then join in with me. Here is how my ostinato, my short repeated pattern goes. Join in. Can you repeat after me? Low, high, 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 low, high. Low, high, high, low, high. Low, high, 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 low, high. Low, high, 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 low, high. Low, high, 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 low, high. Nicely done, that's what we're doing with our hands. So if we do it in slow motion, it's 
low, high, 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 low. High, try it with me. Low, high, 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 low. High, not too bad. When we speed that up, we're gonna see if we can do our pattern. Let's go ahead and choose a number, two or four. I think two sounds good. Where we're going to do our low, high, 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 low, high pattern. One, two, three, here we go. Low, high, 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 low, high. Excellent. All right, so we are going to learn a second pattern now. I think that you've mastered, let's call it um, ostinato A. We'll call it ostinato A because we have two, which would mean that we would call the second one ostinato B, correct? We're gonna do ostinato B now. So I'm gonna use claps and chest pats in this next one. Go ahead once again and listen to my pattern two times and then join in the second two times. It is clap, chest, chest, clap, chest, chest, clap. So it's gonna sound like this. Join in. Now I did that one pretty fast, so let's slow it down. It's clap, chest, chest, clap, chest, chest, clap. This one we'll call ostinato B, and it's clap, chest, chest, clap, chest, chest, clap. Say it with me. Clap, chest, chest, clap, chest, chest, clap. Here we go. One, two, three, here we go. Clap, chest, chest, clap, chest, chest, clap. Clap, chest, chest, clap, chest, chest, clap. One more time. Clap, chest, chest, clap, chest, chest, clap. Nicely done. All right, so then we can kind of choose an order with those two ostinati. We could do ostinato A two times and then follow it with two times of ostinato B. Let's try the claps right here. Now those are just the basic rhythms. Now what I've asked people to do before is to see if they can find different objects around the house. Like for example, I have this box of candy that I haven't finished off yet. It's actually not M&M's. It's got a bunch of different random kinds of candy in it. I got this in my Christmas stocking. And I can find some kind of object to see if I can find a low or a high. And I can try and do that low, high, 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 low, high on here. You may have noticed that not everyone uses musical instruments like these to make music. Sometimes people use buckets. They use bucket drums and boxes and that kind of thing. I want you to be creative and of course asking permission before you start drumming on anything or drumming with anything. But see if you can find a way to transfer this ostinato onto an instrument. The other fun thing to do with this activity, low, high, 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 low, high, and clap, chest, chest, clap, chest, chest, clap, is to teach it to another person. I actually learned this rhythm from two teacher friends, Miss Katie, who's student teaching with me, and Miss Ju up at Laurelhurst Elementary School. So if you have someone around that you can teach this to, maybe you can video someone in and teach them this song, that's a really great way to make music with it too. And you can see if you can maybe trade around. Each person takes a turn doing the ostinato. You see who can do it fastest, starting slow and working your way up. It's up to you. Be creative, find a way to make it fun for you because that's what's important. This last activity is a book that I read with my students in March, the beginning of March before we left school. It's a true story about a young girl named Teresa Carreño and how she became a really famous musician and was invited to play piano in front of President Lincoln at the White House. Now this is one of my favorite stories because it touches on a couple of different topics. It talks about how Teresa used music 
to soothe the troubles that she saw around her, whether if it was soothing her own feelings and bringing joy into her life, or finding a way to use music to help soothe other people around her. I also like this story because it tells the story of how Teresa came to the United States. It reminds me of the stories that my mother told me about when she came to the United States as a young girl, just like Teresa did. So it's a book that is kind of um, a mirror for me that I get to see reflected my own life experiences and kind of a window in the way that I get to see um, a window into the way that my mother felt when she came to the United States and that others may have felt as well when they experienced immigration. Now, this is another book called Dancing Hands that doesn't already have the words of a song in it. So I worked with Miss Katie to choose words from our book to create a song. Now, I want you to listen once to the song and then I'll invite you to join in with me. There is a refrain, estribillo in Spanish, that I'm going to invite you to join with me and then I'll sing the estrofa, the verse myself. So this is what our song sounds like. Just the estribillo, just the refrain first. So the first part is, how could music soothe so much trouble? Try it with me. How could music soothe so much trouble? We just sing it twice. And then the second part is Dancing dark and light moments of hope. Try it with me. Dancing dark and light moments of hope. When we put it together, we have the refrain. And we're going to sing that song a couple times through the book when we feel like Teresa is helping to soothe trouble her own or someone's someone else's through music now i want us to sing one time through the whole song because we have a couple of words that talk about the theme of our story that come up in the verse so we'll do refrain verse refrain i want you to join me on both of the refrains and if you learn the verse to sing along with me later on please join me in singing it as well let's start right at the beginning Together, here we go. How could music soothe so much trouble? How could music soothe so much trouble? Dancing dark and light moments of hope. Dancing dark and light moments of Dancing Hands, how Teresa Carreño played the piano for President Lincoln. What beautiful illustrations. Those illustrations were made by Rafael Lopez, and the author of our book is Margarita Engel. Dancing Hands. When Teresa was a little girl in Venezuela, Mamá sang lullabies, while papá showed Teresita how to let her happy hands dance across all the beautiful dark and light keys of a piano. At first, making music seemed magical, but Teresa soon learned that playing piano could be hard work. 
Sometimes she had to struggle to make the stubborn music behave as she practiced gentle songs that sounded like colorful birds singing in the dark and light branches of a shade-dappled mango tree and powerful songs that roared like prowling jaguars beside towering waterfalls in a mysterious green jungle. If Teresa felt sad, music cheered her. And when she was happy, the piano helped her share bursts of joy. By the time she was six, she could write her own songs, and at seven, she performed in the peaceful chapel of a magnificent cathedral, playing hymns that shimmered like hummingbirds. Teresa shared that when she felt sad, music cheered her. Here we go. How could music soothe so much trouble? How could music soothe so much trouble? Music was Teresita's delight, but suddenly when she was eight, a war changed everything. Guns blazed, swords flashed, and poor Papa had to rush the whole family down to the seashore and onto a ship, into a storm where wind howled, waves rolled, barrels tumbled, ropes snapped, and clouds bucked and kicked across the wild sky like angry mules. By the time the ship arrived in New York, Teresa felt lost. She was homesick. How could she ever play happy songs again in this unfamiliar country where she did not know a single friend? Few, few, few people spoke Spanish, and all around her, curious strangers stared and whispered as if her whole family belonged in a museum of oddities. Worst of all, there was fighting here too. The horrible civil war, North battling South as soldiers marched and the newspaper boys hollered about victories, defeats, funerals, and fears. Without a new piano, Teresa would have felt even more lonely. But soon she discovered that wherever one is, some people are friendly, drawn together by songs. Musicians came to her home, playing along while they listened to the dazzling notes of her dancing hands. Determined to improve, Teresa practiced graceful waltzes and sonatas, booming symphonies and lively folk songs, her strong hands accepting the challenge of life's many dark and light moods. With Papa at her side, she traveled to elegant cities. And by the time she was 10, the piano girl grew so famous that she received amazing invitations, including one so special that she could hardly believe her eyes. President Abraham Lincoln wanted her to play for his whole family at the White House. But the country was still at war. So Teresa arrived in Washington, D.C. at a time when freed enslaved people were signing up to be soldiers. The injured moaned and nurses groaned from the sheer weariness of caring for so many fevers and wounds. Not long ago, the president's son, the president's young son had fallen sick and had died. Men argued about battles lost, battles won, speeches made, victory delayed, and Teresa began to worry. How could music soothe so much trouble? 
poor Abraham Lincoln. Teresa hoped she could entertain the president, his grieving wife, and their two surviving sons. Her fingers might stumble, the rhythms emerging too fast or too slow. But Teresa was brave, and she believed in trying her best. So she entered the White House silently, clutching Papa's hand fiercely as they stepped into a room so red that it looked like a storm or a sunrise. Teresa remembered how it felt to be a homeless refugee and how lonely she had been surrounded by strangers, some of them rude and others kind. The memory of meeting past challenges now helped her fingers dance celebrating the way life had turned out to be a mixture of all sorts of feelings, happy and sad. But the piano was poorly tuned, making her playing, her music, sound ugly. What should she do? Refuse to play? She stopped feeling discouraged until Mr. Lincoln smiled kindly and asked for his favorite song, Listen to the Mockingbird. Listen to the Mockingbird. Listen to the mockingbird. Teresa knew she could play this lively piece even on an imperfect piano. So her fingers leaped across all the glorious dark and light keys, improvising the way mockingbirds do, the melody changing as she went along. Music swirled, twirled, and soared on the wings of sound. The president listened quietly to notes that rose, swayed, rippled, and dipped like a bird in a blue sky above a green forest. He closed his eyes, nodded his head, stretched his long fingers, and tapped the tips of his shiny shoes. How could music soothe so much trouble? When the joyful song ended, Abe Lincoln stood up and clapped, smiling at the piano girl, who smiled too because she knew that her music had brought comfort to a grieving family, at least for one brief, wonderful evening of dancing hands. From then on, Teresa felt certain she would always be bold enough to share her musical courage anywhere in the world simply by letting her fingers travel all across the beautiful dark and light moments of hope. Let's finish off with the full song. Thank you. How could music soothe so much trouble? Thank you for playing music with me today. Keep creating music all around you, finding what feeds your soul in this time, and finding music that helps to soothe you. Goodbye.